The claims of age regression from off-world medbeds have caused quite a stir and much hope in an aging world population. First, let me say that I'm convinced that the medbeds, which are being gifted to our world by other civilizations, can regress age. I believe this for a couple of reasons. First, I have been in the presence of ETs and hybrids at events, and there is one thing that I noticed. They all have amazing skin and no wrinkles. None of them were overweight that I saw. It got to the point that I could pick them out based solely on their physical appearance. So could my husband, who's still on the fence with all of this. The physical youth of very old souls was apparent. They all look healthy, and their faces and bodies look much younger than their physical age. Another indicator for me is my own use and the use of others that I know. I have been on a video conference with Dr. Liu of Tesla Biohealing. I was shocked to find that he is 30 years older than what I assumed from his appearance. I have friends who have used biohealing for years, and they have before and after photos. I know these people, so it's definitely not faked photos. Plus, I have been using a biohealer for about nine months, and though subtle, I have noticed the marionette lines are less apparent. I saw it in my mother with dietary changes, meditation, and environmental change. We can regress our age. I am convinced of it. Due to the power and design of the off-world medbeds, it can be instantaneous. Let me make it clear that these devices cannot cause age reversal in minutes. They are very crude devices and you can do it without them, but they will definitely assist you in your journey towards healing. The fact is that we have the ability to constantly live in a way that our body is effortlessly regressing, and it's more than the usual diet and exercise advice. They are important, but they are not exclusive. As I've said before, health is a symphony of perfect designs, working in unison to create a masterpiece. In this video, we are going to explore what age regression is, what physical processes must occur for your body to regress, is it possible to do this, and what conditions will create these changes. First, we should understand what age regression is. Within the constraints of traditional thought, age regression is a psychological phenomenon where an individual reverts to a younger state of mind, often displaying behaviors, emotions, or thought patterns from earlier developmental stages. So this is not surprising. The mainstream definition implied that regression was completely psychological and not physical. Then, after arguing back and forth with the AI about what is theoretically possible, I got the following. Physical age regression is, by definition, the actual reversal of biological aging processes, such as skin, tissues, organs, and overall cell regeneration returning to a younger state. Further, mainstream will convolute the issue by telling you that chronologically age cannot be regressed, and they are correct unless we consider that. Time may not be linear, but let's stick to what most people can understand. We cannot be 30 if we are 60. We can look and feel 30, and that's all people really care about, being free from pain and having a vibrant, healthy body and mind. The years are merely markers of the wisdom that we have gained. Unfortunately, age is seen in the official narrative as feeble and useless. Another part of the agenda to depopulate the useless. So now I had an opening to obtain further information on what we know and what studies have been done. The information is out there and often can be confirmed, but it's well hidden under a web of suppression and misinformation. Now that we have gotten the system to admit that physical age regression is feasible, 
Let's explore a little further. I'm going to go through the mechanisms of age regression in general, because there is evidence that not only can the body be regressed, but so can the mind, which is great news for people suffering from Alzheimer's, dementia, or general memory loss. Then I'm going to give you the studies that I saw several years ago for methods of turning back the brain to increase the performance and quality of life in people suffering from memory loss of all kinds. I tried them with my mom and they absolutely work. First, let's look at explanations for what the many reported testimonials about anti-aging with numerous devices and methods. The natural aging process involves complex changes at the cellular level, such as telomere shortening, DNA damage, and cellular senescence, which contribute to aging. So let's take a brief look at how aging occurs in our bodies. Telomere shortening. Telomeres are repetitive DNA sequences at the ends of chromosomes that protect them from deterioration. Each time a cell divides, its telomeres shorten. When telomeres become too short, the cell can no longer divide properly and enters a state of senescence or undergoes programmed cell death, contributing to aging. Techniques like telomere extension and senolytics, which are drugs that remove aging cells, are being studied to potentially delay or reverse cellular aging. DNA damage. Over time, DNA can accumulate damage due to factors like environmental stress radiation and normal metabolic processes. This damage can lead to mutations and impair the cell's ability to function correctly. The accumulation of DNA damage is associated with aging and can contribute to various age-related diseases. Studies involving Yamanaka factors which is a set of four genes that reprogram cells to a pluripotent stem cell state, have shown that it may be possible to reset the age of cells. Cellular senescence is a state where cells lose their ability to divide and function properly. This can be triggered by telomere shortening, DNA damage, or other stressors. Senescent cells accumulate over time and can secrete inflammatory factors that disrupt tissue function, contributing to the aging process and age-related diseases. Some evidence shows that reducing caloric intake or manipulating metabolic pathways like mTOR and sirtuins can slow down aging processes. Let's look at these two pathways quickly. mTOR means mechanistic target of rapamycin, which is a protein kinase that plays a crucial role in regulating cell growth, proliferation, metabolism, and survival. It integrates signals from nutrients, growth factors, and cellular energy status to control these processes. The mTOR pathway is involved in various cellular functions, including protein synthesis, autophagy, and cellular aging. Overactivation of mTOR has been linked to aging and age-related diseases, while its inhibition is associated with lifespan extension. So the goal is to find ways to inhibit mTOR pathways. The sirtuins pathway is different. Sirtuins are a family of proteins that regulate cellular processes including aging, metabolism, and stress response. They function to modify proteins by removing acetyl groups, which influences their activity and stability. Sirtuins are involved in processes such as DNA repair inflammation and mitochondrial function. They are also believed to play a role in extending lifespan and promoting health by enhancing cellular repair mechanisms and metabolic efficiency. Thankfully, it's not necessary to have a deep understanding of the biological processes that are causing our aging, but this information is helpful in understanding the role of nutrients and energy in the aging process.
Now that we know what causes age regression, let's look at the way that can alter the progression of aging and indeed actually reverse the physical effects of aging. Electromagnetic field devices. Some energy healing devices, such as pulsed electromagnetic field, PMF therapy devices, improve cellular function and regeneration by emitting low-frequency electromagnetic waves. This is believed to help with tissue repair, inflammation reduction, and improved cellular health which can reverse the physical effects of aging. Bioenergetic therapies. Devices like Rife machines, Chai machines, and others that claim to work on the body's energy fields may enhance circulation, promote relaxation, and support the body's natural healing processes. Photobiomodulation or red light. Therapy and near-infrared light therapy devices have been studied for their effects on skin health, cellular repair, and inflammation reduction. Some studies suggest that this therapy can boost collagen production and improve skin elasticity, which could physically rejuvenate the skin. These devices are known to promote cellular repair by stimulating mitochondria, the energy-producing organelles in cells, which can lead to a more youthful look over time. Frequency-based healing devices use specific frequencies to align with the body's natural energy or vibrational frequencies, promoting healing and youthfulness. Some devices, for example, use frequencies for bioresonance therapy to harmonize the body's energy field and improve physical and mental well-being. The mainstream media, including journals, will discount the efficacy of such devices, stating that Controlled scientific studies on the ability of these devices to cause true physical age regression are limited. And that is the truth. The question becomes, why aren't there any studies? And we all know the answer. Because big pharma and philanthropic organizations like the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation are busy researching GMO and insect sourced foods. Why? Because they can make money off of us and we won't overpopulate their world. Once people know that they have always had everything they need to heal, there is no need for any man-made healing. The mechanisms involved in these energy devices include increased blood flow and oxygenation, which can promote healing and rejuvenation of the skin and other tissues. Some therapies stimulate cellular energy production in the mitochondria, which can aid in the repair of damaged cells. The placebo effect describes the mind-body connection in medicine. Mainstream science often admits that this connection is strong. They have even said the very belief in the efficacy of a device or therapy can result in direct improvements in well-being and appearance. The placebo effect is the scientific community's attempt to describe the manifestation through thoughts or beliefs. It's the same concept behind spontaneous faith healing that greedy healers often took credit for. But it was the person's belief that healed them. It's real. Visualization practices, such as imagining the body regenerating cells or reversing aging processes, can reduce stress levels. Chronic stress accelerates aging by affecting telomeres, DNA, and overall cellular health. So stress reduction can actually help to preserve telomere length and reduce cellular damage. Visualization can also boost immune function, which is crucial for combating age-related diseases and maintaining overall vitality. Visualization can also promote cellular repair by triggering the placebo effect, where the belief in healing leads to real physical changes. By visualizing youthful, healthy cells, the brain sends signals that promote cellular repair, enhancing the regeneration of tissues and slowing down aging processes. This involves core quantum physics, which we have discussed in other videos. Energy practices like acupuncture, meditation, or Tai Chi focus on balancing the body's energy, or Qi. A balanced flow of energy supports optimal function of organs, slow aging, and maintain youthful vitality. There is growing evidence that thoughts, emotions, and energy practices can influence epigenetics, which is the turning on or off of genes, such as disease or cancer expression genes. 
I've discussed this before in my video on the connection between diet and disease, and epigenetics can be a key in stopping catastrophic diseases. The odd thing is that we are consistently told that it's not possible to heal or change the body through thought energy. Yet they have a field of study named epigenetics, which I'm sure has a lot of funding coming from somewhere. Also, visualization and positive energy practices can actually impact gene expression related to aging, favoring youth-promoting pathways like sirtuins and lowering inflammation. I promised you that I would share some information from many years ago based on my years studying martial arts and traditional Chinese medicine. It is well established that fascia support the skin by providing a structural connection between the skin and the underlying muscles and tissues. Fascia are made of collagen and they are little fibers that hold your skin in place, maintaining the skin's firmness and elasticity. The Chinese have a way to keep their skin firm. They use a little bag of metal beads that they tap on their skin to cause the fascia to build strength. I don't currently use a bag of beads on my skin, but I use loofah gloves to scrub my face for 60 seconds in each area, and I also use loofah on my body. It exercises those tiny fascia that hold the skin in place. The last thing I will discuss regarding age reversal is something I ran across several years. It's called reminiscence therapy or environmental enrichment. It involves designing spaces that include decor, furniture, objects, or even old technology like radios or TV sets from the period when the patient was young and vibrant. Studies have found that such environments trigger memories and emotions, which improve cognitive functions and reduce confusion. By surrounding patients with familiar elements from their past, they can feel more oriented and secure, which can positively impact their mood and memory. This is often used in nursing homes where rooms are styled to resemble homes from the 1950s or 1960s. A researcher who has explored this is Dr. Toby Zausner, who highlighted the power of sensory cues like decor, objects, and music in stimulating memory in dementia patients. The George G. Glenner Alzheimer's Family Centers have also implemented this therapy with their Glenner Town Square project, which recreates a 1950s style town to immerse dementia patients in familiar surroundings. So if you want to reverse the aging of your mind, throw on your 60s bell bottoms and crack up your journey eight track. So that's what we have today, guys. Physical age regression is possible. I have to wonder how many secret government programs have been studying this for decades. Moreover, how many corporations are rushing into the patent office for energy healing devices when we don't really need any of it? Can you imagine the loss of power if the minions could effortlessly achieve healing of the body and the mind? Or if we could manifest anything we want or live for hundreds of years healthy and vibrant? It would be the destruction of the matrix that we live in that was designed by corporate wealth and technology. Until next time, remember, Morpheus said, I'm trying to free your mind, but I can only show you the door. You're the one that has to walk through it.